Thank you, Jody. Time to dig into our top performers list in South Dakota from last week. Let's start with Caden Ng's four touchdown day for Castlewood. The Warriors have been dominant all year long. Caden has been a huge reason why they've been so good. Jace Faulkner, he returns to this list. 325 all-purpose yards and five touchdowns. That's his best performance of the year, and that's saying a lot. He's had some pretty good performances. How about Cade Koletsky? Three touchdowns for Yankton. What a workhorse for the Bucks. 38 carries on the day. Hope you're not uh, still sore from that performance on last Friday. That is a load. Let's talk about Tupac Capea. He had his best rushing performance of the year. Only took 17 carries for him to get to 242 yards and two touchdowns. He's now moved to number two on the all-time list in 11-man football and yardage at 4,523 yards. The record, by the way, 5305 by Jason Lieber of Vermillion. That was back in 1992. And he's also in the top five all-time in rushing touchdowns with 54. Watch out, record books. Tupac is coming. Sam Siegel of Lincoln, he had one of the best defensive performances of the season by anyone. Three interceptions in a single game. And by the way, the 11-man record for that in a single game, six. But as far as 11 AA or 11 AAA marks, that ties the most for all time. Congrats to you, Sam. Dalen Simon and Lyndon Williams also had big days on the nine-man football field. Both went for over 200 yards from scrimmage to help their teams notch a victory. Nick Whitler, he continues his huge season. Get this, he's over 70% completion on his passing percentage this year with no interceptions and 14 touchdowns. And by the way, he's run for another eight touchdowns. He's making a case for 9B Player of the Year. And Zach Anders, he's repping for all those hardworking receivers out there. 10 catches, 153 yards for Harding County. But the game ball goes to the Canastota offensive line. Get this, they blocked for 517 yards last week against a ranked team. Three different rushers went for over 100 yards. That was Trey Ortman, Austin Thew, and Bailey Sage, who all broke the century mark. And they could have easily made this list individually, uh, but as for a team, unbelievable. Their offensive line, by the way, had seven different players throughout the game. Jared Teason leading the way, Shea Sari, Micah Swenson, Tristan Pierce, Cole Papendick, Clayton Smith, and Blake Anderson all helped the Pride run for those 517 yards. They are unbeaten so far this year, and they take on Baltic, who's 4-1 at home on Friday night. Should be a good one for the Pride. Back to you, Kelly.